guys, it's Meg. I am going to be showing you literally how scarring my childhood was. Not that I had like bad experiences, just the photos that were taken. During my childhood, I just, I can't. It's absolutely awful. What I'm going to be doing today is showing you guys those pictures because it's good video content and you got to do it for the vlog. Let's go. So I got my handy dandy laptop here. As you can see, I'm obsessed with Tom Holland. If you're not, why are you still here? I'm going to be just flipping through these pictures and just giving you like, well, I guess it's not really a reaction. I've lived this, but it's more of like a honest opinion of how awful they are. We're going to start off with this awful image of me at probably, what year is this? Like 2005, so I was three years old, barely, and I just decided one day, hey, let me just put on these glasses and a princess dress. Um, so these were these glasses. That in my family, we use them all the time because I thought they were the most hilarious thing in the world. Obviously, they're not that funny. They're only funny on little kids, but I thought they were absolutely hilarious. Now, looking back at it, it is completely terrifying and makes me want to cry. I'm also wearing this beautiful Rapunzel hat. It's got, like, some nice roses on it, and I'm also wearing this fashionable princess dress right over top of my onesie, but I actually don't know what is on the onesie. It looks like some, some teddy bears. Moving on. <laughs> Okay, this was, sadly, only four years ago. Yeah. So this is my first day of school in grade six. And apparently I had no fashion sense graduating from grade five to grade six because I am wearing a full justice outfit. Like, when I mean full, I mean like what they put on the mannequins to make you buy the separate pieces. I wore it all. When I was in grade six, I didn't just like start slow and like kind of build up my fashion sense. No, I started all in because when you're in grade six, you go big or you go home, right? Okay, so this picture is on picture day at my dance studio, my old dance studio, when I was probably about seven. As you can see, I just really wanted to fit in like the big kids and wear some warm-ups over my costume, so I just had my nice long pants on in the middle of June. I remember going to school the day before picture day with curlers in my hair. And as you can see, I kept them in way too long because my hair was probably down to where it is right now at the time, and it was curled to here. Like, it's just so bad. But you can tell that we didn't, like, curl any of the roots because it goes, oh, oh, my computer just stinked. I got a text. I totally forgot what I was just about to say. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, it goes completely straight, and then it goes curly. Like, so curly. Like, completely tragic. Like, so bad. Okay, this picture was summer of 2000. The reason I bought this outfit was for a summer camp, and I had to be part of the machine in Beauty and the Beast. I went to Value Village, which if you live in Canada, you know what Value Village is, but if you don't, it's just like a thrift store kind of thing. I used it, I guess, to buy the costume because I wasn't going to go out and buy something metallic for like $25 when I was like 8 years old. I chose to buy... A crop top. Mom, why did you let me buy this? Like, I don't get it. It's so ugly. Okay. Um, so I decided that I need to go out and buy a full piece bathing suit, a swim cap, and goggles because my mom forced me into going to swim camp for a week. That was the worst summer of my life. Long story short, I was supposed to go to this swim camp and I guess I like wanted to test out all my new swimming products before I went to the swimming pool for real. So I decided to wear this in Florida. Yep, I did. At a fun family pool, I decided to wear my swim cap. Every time I look at this picture, I just... What was I thinking? I was probably a solid eight years old in this. Like, I'm probably at the age where I have some sort of common sense. I should have some sense that I look absolutely ridiculous. I look like an alien. I think
think this is my favorite picture of me when I was little. I actually used this last year and put it on my Snapchat story and I wrote, tomorrow's Valentine's Day and you have no one to spend it with because this picture is literally a meme. I'm just like living my life over here and hanging out in my cute outfit and I'm just like staring off into the distance admiring something and I just think it's like my facial expression is really like classic and great so that's why I just wanted to include that in here not because it's embarrassing but because I think it's a cute photo and it's kind of funny so that's all I have for you guys today I hope you enjoyed this video be sure to comment like and subscribe and I will see you guys next time peace out don't think you quite realize what you got here so why don't you just ruminate whilst I illuminate the possibilities can your friends do this? Can your friends do that?